What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Michal. I help people, specifically entrepreneurs, eliminate their own self-sabotage through mindset and performance so they can become the person they need to be in order to achieve their goals. And in this video, I'm trying to make it very quick. I'm going to explain to you the number one way how you are going to crush your new year's resolutions, right? It's that time of year. The new year is upon us. 2022 is upon us. 2021 was a crazy year and everybody has new goals desires, things they want, things they want to experience, and they all have these New Year's resolutions, how they're going to change, what they're going to achieve, okay? Now, how you are going to stick to those New Year's resolutions and achieve those is by understanding this. Stop setting goals and set standards, okay? Let me explain. Now, it's good to have goals, right? You want to have a certain outcome, a certain point of reference of where you're going, right? But the thing is, you know, setting goals often puts them on a pedestal, right? So the goal is like up there and you're like trying to achieve it. And if you're not achieving it, you kind of, it causes a lot of self-sabotage because you feel like, you know, there's a lot of limiting beliefs, self-doubt, anxiety, overwhelm, stress, and confusion because this goal is up there on this pedestal. And that's what most happens when you set goals. But understand this, when you're trying to achieve a goal, a goal is ahead of you. A goal is in front of you. So it's not that you're trying to achieve a goal. It's like, it's just whether you're going forwards or backwards. Okay, because you're always going to be forwards. Your goal will always be a certain time, distance, um, et cetera, away from you, right? And you're trying to achieve it. So you're, you're going to have to be going forward, forward in time, forward in action, forward financially. You're going, you're going to be going into the future, okay? Now, if you're going backwards, you're moving away from your goal, and that's, where you're not, that's when you're not achieving it, all right? That's when you're not you know, hitting the things you have to be doing in order to achieve that goal. That's when you go backwards, okay? So the biggest thing here is don't set goals, set standards. Because when you set standards for yourself, that creates the basic premise of the kind of reference points of how you're supposed to do certain things that are the person you're supposed to become. And that makes becoming the person you need to be in order to achieve that goal a lot easier. Because when you set standards, right, you're not going to fall below those standards. Okay. Now, most of us have standards, right? Standards when it comes to hygiene, standards when it comes to who we hang around with, standards about the activities that we do. And what happens? If you fall, it's very hard for you to fall under those standards. And when you do, usually you bounce back up very quick as it is like this big kind of like this shaking of yourself. Like, what are you doing? You're falling below your standards, right? Are you going that low under your own standards? But when you have a goal, there's a lot of space. There's a gap. There's like a void. And I explained in a previous video that the best way to achieve something is to shorten that gap, right? Make it more tangible, make it more accessible and feasible to achieve. Don't put, the, don't put it on this pedestal. That also happens when you set goals. When you set standards, it sets the premise of how you're supposed to act every day and who you're supposed to be every day, right? So let's say when it comes to the gym, right? You wanna hit, you, you, wanna, be, you, you wanna reach a body weight of 200 pounds, you wanna, you wanna be shredded. Don't, you know, set that as a, as a, as a forward point of where you're going, where you want to achieve. Okay. And then obviously you have to know what to do, right? The daily KPIs of how you're going to achieve that goal. So we have to reverse engineer. Okay. But around that, you form the standards, right? Waking up at 530 every day, going to sleep at night, not l looking at blue light stuff two hours before bed, not eating late, right? Not binging. Uh, let's say alcohol or drugs, kind of stuff like that, because they're going to impede your performance in the gym. When it comes to business, you want to hit 10k a month in your in your agency coaching consulting business this year. You know that you have to do outreach, sales, marketing, putting out content. So don't self sabotage by procrastinating on your phone, hanging out with people that you, that you're not supposed to, formulating excuses around things that you know you're not supposed to do. Letting yourself fall behind on the task is going to make stuff harder for you and induce more self-sabotage that's going to cause overwhelm and stress and anxiety, which will cause moments of limiting beliefs, self-doubt, formulating excuses, etc. Okay, so create these standards, right? And when you become that person and you, when you're able to consistently in a disciplinary manner achieve those standards over time, then your standards rise, right? And you always rise up to and above your standards. And then your the level that you're at then becomes your next lowest standard. So let's say you, you hit that 10K a month in your business. That 10K a month is standard now. It's routine, right? It's, it's a hygiene standard. that You hit 10K a month every month in your business. So the next goal is 50K a month. That's your next standard. And obviously there's a whole process of, of achieving that. 
but that is a whole, you know, more of an internal journey, right? That I speak on the channel when it's you versus you, okay? But then that 50K becomes that next standard, so you won't fall below it. You're not gonna let yourself do things, act a certain way, you know, sabotage your mission and go below that 50K, right? Then it's 100K, then it's a million, right? You, get, you see the point though, you formulate these reference points, these markers, and you know, your goal is obviously in the future, your goal is already there, right? It's, it's in front of you, you're going forward to achieve it. But along the way, create standards, not just goals, create standards for yourself, how you show up, how you act, right? Your mindset, your performance, all of this stuff. And once you standardize those things, that just makes becoming the person you need to be so much easier, okay? So that is how you absolutely will crush your New Year's resolutions. Now, quick little tips. One, you must find clarity on what the goal is, what you're trying to achieve, where you're trying to go. You must find clarity. That is number one, with a why and a purpose, right? Internalize it. So you're connected with that, okay? Two, you must, you must, you must, you must, you must, you must shift beliefs, okay? You must shift beliefs in your mindset because those beliefs are going to control and create your paradigm, your perspectives, how you think about the world, how you interpret things, and how you act upon them, all right? So you must shift certain beliefs. The best way to do that is by just writing out your why, right? Daily journaling, right? Adapting these mental models that I, that I talk about and really internalizing them. And those will formulate and mold your perspective, your paradigm, right? And the third thing is just really understanding that the internal affects the external, right? Inputs equals outputs. It all comes down to discipline and consistency over time, right? Being self-aware of where you are, where you wanna be, are you doing the actions that will get you there consistently over time? And having a relentless mindset towards it because at the end of the day, it is just you versus you. It is you achieving a goal, nobody else, right? That is what gives you fulfillment and desire and pursuit to go achieve something and to go reach something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful season and time of holidays. Let's go into 2022 absolutely running. If you want to learn more, you know, check out my social medias. If you want to drastically change and take action and want help with this process so you can become that person and achieve the goals, book a call below on the Affluent Self calendar link. Let's dive in. Let's get on a call. Let's chat and see what we can do. All right, I have a special offer going on for you guys, so do not miss it because this is literally understand that every decision you make is drastically and profoundly changing the trajectory of your life, right? I wish you guys a wonderful, happy new year once again. I hope you guys found value in this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to a friend so they can crush their new year. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.